Hey everyone, welcome to Guncraft, and in this video, I'm going to help you with some tips to how to watch holster review videos. So it may seem strange, but a lot of us don't have the opportunity to just walk in and put hands on a holster and try it out and check it, you know, how it fits with our gun and how it fits with our body types and the type of clothing we wear. So we depend on watching videos from reviewers like me and the host of others that are out there to give us their opinions and the facts about how a particular holster system works. So this video is to give you some ideas on things that you need to be looking for in order to properly assess the information you're given. So the first tip I have is just know that everybody has an opinion. You know what they say, opinions are like belly buttons. That's, I knew that's what you were thinking. Uh, everybody's got one. They're going to introduce their own bias into the review. We just can't avoid it. Everybody has some sort of a bias. So some of them are obvious and, and just blatant, uh, but many of them are unintentional biases. So just make sure that you pay attention to the reviewer, their perspective, and understand that their opinion is exactly that. It's their opinion. What they opine is important to them may not be important to you, or the things that they like or don't like may be the exact opposite of what you like or don't like. So don't feel like because reviewer so-and-so or me says, I don't like this about this holster, therefore you should not like that about that holster as well. And also know that opinions are going to change even with the same reviewer from holster to holster, or even my opinion may change about a holster from the day that I have it today uh, to a year from now. So that also brings me to the fact that you should watch as many reviews as you can about a particular product. So if you're researching something, I'm not gonna name any product names right now, if you're researching it and you find my video and you watch it, you're like, hey, here's a video uh, that Guncraft did on this particular holster, well, why don't you take a look at other videos of different people reviewing the same holster? You're gonna get different perspectives, different opinions, and it will help you make your decision better. Pay attention to the body type of the people that are reviewing, how they're caring, and have an honest assessment of yourself and how you fit that, right? So a guy doing a review with a, I'll call it a ranger body type, a special forces cut, you know, flat abs, uh, nine pack Batman sort of uh, body type, they're going to wear a holster differently than somebody like me with a dad bod, right? So I can I can, uh, you know, suck it in and I can conceal a lot in here, but the reality of it is I don't walk around like that. I walk around like this, right? And I mean, not really that bad, but I hope. Um, but I've got some stuff here. You know, I've got a little bit of Dunlap happening, Dunlap disease, my belly Dunlapped over my belt. Um, so I'm gonna wear a holster differently than somebody who doesn't have that and has just a flat, you know, six pack right there. So keep that in mind. Look at how they're wearing it and how their body type compares to you because what works for one person is definitely not always guaranteed to work for the other. So also, look at the type of clothing that the reviewer wears with that particular holster. Something that conceals well underneath a fishing vest and uh, and using a you know, one and three quarter inch Kevlar reinforced gun belt you know, may not fit what you're trying to wear it with. So look at how much cover is actually required to conceal the holster uh, and, uh, and, and just pay attention to that. So I often in the summertime in, in just a t-shirt. So I'm looking for holster systems that will accommodate that. But in the wintertime, I wear jackets all the time or sweatshirts. And so, yeah, my options open up dramatically. So speaking of that, your belt level, uh, your belt line on your pants could vary. You know, it could be high-waisted, low-waisted. That's going to make a difference on where the holster fits. Now, most holsters are adjustable up and down. You know, some are adjustable for cant, and then you can adjust where you wear them on your body. But pay attention to what type of clothing uh, the reviewer is using. If, if they have a really high-waisted belt line and uh, that's going to push it up higher, it may fit differently if you wear sort of low waist. Now, I do have several reviews coming up of holster systems that require no belt, uh, in which case the type of pants you wear and the type of belt you have becomes a non-issue. Even then, you're going to have to look at where the holster lies. I, for example, uh, am okay wearing a holster down low into the groin area um, that my body type that fits. I'd rather do that than up at the dad bod spot in most cases 
but not everybody's going to be able to do that or feel comfortable doing that. So just think about that as you uh, as you watch review videos. Pay attention to how long the person has had the holster that they're reviewing. My opinion almost always changes after spending some time with a product. It, there's like this honeymoon phase where you get it and you're like so excited. You're like, ah, oh, yeah, I got it. And, uh, and you put it on you're like, yeah, this is awesome. Uh, it doesn't really fit that well. It's kind of not that comfortable right there, but it's probably me. I need to adjust it and figure out where I want to wear it. And then I'll spend some time sort of working out those kinks. Sometimes I can, sometimes I can't. Sometimes I know within a few minutes whether or not I like a holster or don't like a holster. But if I like it, sometimes after spending some time with it and wearing it for a prolonged period of time, I find I don't like it as much as I thought. So that honeymoon phase sort of uh, wore off. Almost all the time, if I don't like a holster right off the bat, I'm probably not ever really going to like it that much. But that doesn't mean it doesn't have utility. There's a particular holster that I'm working on uh, doing a review for you right now, and I'm spending some time with it, but I didn't like it that much in the beginning. And uh, and then I wore it for several hours, and I started to develop hot spots, and I just, you know, it just it it just didn't suit me. That doesn't mean it's not a good fit for you, and it doesn't mean it doesn't have a place in my holster box because it does fit a very specific scenario. And I bought it for that scenario, but that doesn't mean I'm going to wear it all the time. I will contend to you over and over again that I don't think there's a perfect holster that suits everybody and all needs. So if somebody says, this is the last holster you're ever going to need, I just, I don't buy it. Right? So I have a box O holsters. I have a plethora of holsters and I'm going through rebuilding that box right now for this new gun. I've got the Glock 19 uh, with the RMR, which is different because not all holsters can accommodate that optic. That's another thing to pay attention to. If you have anything unique about your pistol, not every holster can accommodate some of the aftermarket accessories. So check with the holster manufacturers to see if that's possible. But back to my story, I do have several holsters that I'll wear in certain circumstances. When I'm running to the store and I'm wearing t-shirts and sweats, I'm not probably going to be wearing the same holster that if I was dressed up in a suit with a, uh, you know, a belt and all that stuff. So just keep that in mind. But more importantly, an unboxing and an immediate review without spending time with a holster, I just don't think it's a fair opinion. I don't think it's a good assessment of the product. There are some things, uh, there's, a, there's a holster I've got right now uh, that I've been sort of playing with, and I really loved it, really loved it in the very beginning. And I still like it for a variety of reasons, but it's not one that I carry regularly because of something that developed, like it was a, again, hot spot or rubbing in the wrong space or, you know, things like that, that just, you don't know until you spend some time with them. So I hope this is helpful for you. Again, I'm just trying to set the stage, uh, lay the foundation. So we all have a uh, chance to sort of critically think about how we want to assess the information presented either by me or some other reviewer, uh, and I do the same thing. I binge watch uh, YouTubes, I'm on the forums, I'm on uh, Facebook groups, and I'm researching and just sort of trying to consume as much of this information as I can so that I can make informed decisions. Sometimes I do a good job after that. Sometimes I still end up with stuff that just doesn't fit me, and that's okay. It's okay if a holster system doesn't fit you, and you're okay for trying it and realizing it doesn't fit you. Just acknowledge it, figure out what you like, what you don't like, and then look for something that has those options sort of normalized. Because, yeah, it's it's always a compromise. Anyway, guys, that's it. Uh, do me a favor, subscribe to this channel, Guncraft, if you haven't already done so. I'm going to be dropping a bunch of videos. So I'm um, dropping uh, holster review videos and other tip videos like this where just me talking head stuff. I uh, hope that's okay from time to time. And, yeah, if you hit the bell, you'll get notified if I drop a video. And share with your friends. Um, if, you, if you've got gun friends that uh, would be interested in gun craft type stuff, yeah, share it. I really appreciate it. Anyway, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.